Yeah, I mean, uh, everyone's going to hold their weight, but I think we got a lot of experience back there in the back, in the secondary. And uh, so me, guys like me, John Reed, you know, Nick Scott, and then you think Garrett Taylor, um, we're just all going to hold our weight and try to make some plays and surround ourselves with some some big plays so then everyone else can pick up um, their weight too. So. How exciting is it to be from, you know, being a guy that's been around for quite a bit, right. how exciting is it to see the trajectory of this program kind of from where it was, you know, when you're being recruited to where it is now, back to back 10 seasons? It's really exciting. I mean, coming from, you know, my freshman year, <coughs> not even know if we're going to make a bowl game to being in the Pinstripe Bowl and then Taxler Bowl and then last two years in New York Six Bowl. I mean, it doesn't get it doesn't get better than that. It's a great story. I always say they're going to do a 30 for 30 on this on this uh, experience, but um, it's it's great. I mean, I wouldn't take it back ever. So, how important a piece do you think Coach Franklin has been in this turnaround? Uh, very important. I mean, he's a he's a he's a leader. You know, he um, cares for us, and that goes a long way. When you play harder, when you actually you know when you got somebody that actually cares for you, that's, that's leading you. So. Um, I think he's obviously done a huge part in this. He recruits well, you know, um, getting our facilities better every day. So, I mean, he's just always on the grind. So I think he's doing well. Thank you. How do you describe the competitive level, the competitive level in the defensive back group? And when you see so many guys get drafted and sign contracts, does that serve as extra motivation? Yeah, I mean, it serves as extra motivation um, for individual goals. But, you know, we're mostly focused on, you know, team goals. So. We're just worried about trying to make sure we're the best secondary we can be this year. Not worried about last year. Those guys are great, great people, great friends, great teammates, but they're gone. So we got to work with what we have here, and we got to find that chemistry and be able to just um, make some plays. And then, and then hopefully, if we do that, uh, our individual goals will skyrocket too. I was talking with Nick uh, recently. He talked. He said he looks at you as a leader. Do you see yourself as a leader on, on this team? And how do you and Nick work together? Um, in terms of kind of taking that leadership role that, for the that's defense. A great yeah, I mean, I feel my, I take, I see myself as a leader now. Um, before, I didn't really see it as much. I saw it as more of a leader by example. But in this game, you gotta, gotta, you know, lead. You gotta speak up too and say that to uh, have those tough conversations with people. Um, but as far as me and Nick, I, I think he has takes good control of like the safety unit, um, trying to lead that that unit, and then I'm taking control of this corner unit, trying to you know bring those younger guys up to scale so we can all just put that together and just be a powerhouse in the secondary. What's today mean for you, and what's the importance of community outreach and kind of getting up close with the fans and letting them see who you guys are and what you're all about? I think it's really important. Um, you know, this day comes around once a year, but, you know, it's so impactful. Um, we just, just another reason that we talk about how, um, you know, we're not just football players. We try to make an impact in the community and um, raise this money. It's just it's just such a good thing. We're just going to go out there, put on a show, and um, hopefully we we'll still get the same progress as we had the past years. Working with Coach Smith, does he ever – like you get the sense that he's like, I mean, he's a Penn State guy, obviously he graduated here, but does that ever feel like, does that ever come up in conversation or because I think he's the only guy in the staff who graduated from here? Yeah, um, he talks about it all the time. He always talks about how, how, he, uh, how he played here and stuff like that, you know, how old guys are when they do that. But uh, I think he, that's just extra, more pride that he puts into his work when he, it's the fact that he played here and that just makes us more prideful in it too. So we play harder. What's real expectations for John coming back this season? And how, how, how do you think last year, not that it helped him, but what do you think he learned from that experience? Uh, I mean, I don't I don't expect too much. I mean, I expect more out of him, but um, he he's a great player. I already know he's going to blow the top off. And um, when he's healthy, he's just going to he's going to ball out and do what he does best. Um, but I'm not expecting anything extraordinary. I'm expecting him to do what he does best. I mean, you guys grind together, so how much are you looking forward to seeing him get the opportunity to get back on the field because you uh, know how much work he put in? No, I'm looking forward to it, definitely. Um, I think it will be great because we both played a lot of football here, and to have us uh, trying to lead the pack, um, I think we'll bring those younger guys up real quick, and then we'll be able to find that powerhouse in the second year.